YouTube is hard. You probably expected the next episode of the Sardinian road trip by now. Thing is, I had a lot of work to do and I was traveling and couldn't really do my work editing videos. And it's really taking me a long time to edit these videos with work and travel. So I didn't have time to do this, which made me realize one thing me and in general. YouTube is really hard and I suck it. And I'm gonna tell you the reasons why. I'm actually on my way to the barber. I need my beard to be made nicer and my hair, as you can see, it's kind of wild. So I need to do that. But here's the reason why creating YouTube content is really difficult. So there's two categories of skills that you need to have and they're quite similar to the skill sets you need in my line of work or at least the categories. We call them soft skills and hard skills. So the hard skills when doing YouTube is everything related to the camera, the lightning, sound, editing skills, color grading, all that stuff. And that is relatively easy. You can learn that. You can watch a lot of videos, you can go to courses, and that's okay. But then, there's the hard skill, the really hard skill. Oh, hang on, they're doing some grinding over there. It's a little bit loud. I'm gonna move to another place and tell you about those hard skills. So as I was saying, there's the, there's the hard skills. Now, I'm not saying I'm really good at the technical skills, uh, by no means. I'm still learning a lot, especially, you know, about lighting and all the stuff related to recording and, you know, being out and about and recording yourself on the motorbike, your travels and all that stuff. But those, again, those are the easy skills you can master because it's just a matter of practice 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 and somehow it works out at the end now the really difficult skill to master is the soft skill and the soft skill is about storytelling it's telling a compelling story that you watching this video or any of my videos can really relate to and that is really really hard and i really suck at it and i realized that when I was editing um, the latest video from the Sardinian trip. It's a nightmare. I can't find the story. I mean, there's a little bit of story, but it's really difficult to put it together. I think one of the worst things you can do when you're trying to post content for your channel is just go out with a camera and record and just record and hope for the better. So yeah. That's the thing that I wanted to tell you. I really, really suck at telling a story. And I'm trying to get better. So if you have any advice on how to create compelling stories and how to make my videos better, uh, or ideas of things that you would like me to tell you, please let me know in the comments below so that I can adapt and learn. I'm always eager to learn new things. But anyhow, I think it's getting time for me to go to the barber. Anyway, Next week, you're gonna see the next episode of the Sardinian road trip. I just wanted to share my struggles with telling compelling stories, given that I struggle so much with it. I think one of the reasons we struggle telling stories is because there's this effect where you think, or I think, my life is pretty normal. And it really isn't, isn't it? At least from your perspective, it probably isn't. From mine, it is. And I struggle a lot to find, like, will you like this at all? So I don't know. I really suck at YouTube. I just wanted to share that and leave it out in the open. Um, anyway, let's go to the barber, get my hair and my beard sorted. I have a conference to attend. It's an online conference and I want to look good for it. All right, let's do this.
All right, hair done. And now on my way back home. But anyhow, as I was saying, storytelling is really hard and I'm trying to improve. And I'm trying to find stories to tell you about my life and my travels. But I struggle with that. Anyway, next week, we're continuing with our Sardinian road trip. So up until then, have a great time. <laughs>